I met a gypsy. Example of somebody going and buying a bike. You yeah. know, like it's it's average Joe, you know, weekend warrior guy that's super pumped on his bike you know, because he's a Suzuki guy through and through kind yeah. of thing. So yeah, you, you definitely see it differently when you, when you have been exposed to it more, you know? Yeah. It makes sense. But the racer in me definitely wants to get frustrated. Yeah, yeah. Like I want him, you want everybody to push the envelope, you know, like some of the stuff that I try and I get to race with, you know, the general public would be pumped on that and that would make a difference and they would like that, you know, but but the cost to put that into production but is yeah, outrageous. Obviously, the cost to put that into production is is far outweighs the you know the ups than 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 their losses. You know, how how long ago does Europe feel to when you're doing like is that still like a super fond memory? Because like I don't I don't remember really like reading a lot of you talking about Europe. Everything's happened so fast. Like I wouldn't say that Europe feels long ago at all you know like it's everything's happened so damn fast um europe was the most fun yeah i get i get that from like a lot of people that i know that have been there yeah like i would say that europe was the funnest that ellie and i had because euros are just fucking freaky bro and when i say that it's not that we generally had more fun um it was more the environment and Mm. and how just straight off the boat you were you know like you were so fresh you were young and dumb and you just it was the experience of the unknown you know like sitting in your driveway going to the first gp and literally looking at a map and you're (laughs) in you're in belgium and you need to go to spain and you don't know which way to go out of your driveway (laughs) you know like there was no iphones Uh, there was no navigation um you Damn. know, I recently spent 20 days in, in Europe with the, with the family and God, it's so easy now with an iPhone. You literally in English, you know, put in the address that you want, press go and it tells you in English where you, where to go. You know, back in those days, it was following a map down to a certain point and then it tells you, okay, you got to go to M16 and then you got to, you know, through, go through the pages, M16 and then you follow it all again, you know, um, so I think that at 18 years old, Ellie literally fresh out of graduation of high school. That is um, insane. Right? Can you imagine Tate doing that shit? Being like, hey, man, uh, me and my girlfriend, uh, the day she graduates, we're going to fly to Europe. And that, that's funny, you know, like when you think, when you think, when you put it into that content of, of you, you know, your own child and things like that, um, obviously, my, obviously my own experience, I, you know, you want, you have to embrace it because you know like i'd be a hypocrite for for Mm. not um so yeah it's different and but it's like what's funny for me is is when i when i look back at it all i had nothing i didn't have money to my name i mean yeah i was successful and you know won two championships here and things like that but that i mean shit my salary was twenty five thousand dollars a year back then you know uh, balling, you know, like I literally, I think I had a highest van to my name. Um, other than that, two kids, you know, like for me, I'd, I'd been pro two years. Um, Ellie graduated in 2000. Um, so at the end of, yeah, at the end of 2000, like right after graduation. So she was accepted into, into college and she, uh, I don't know if that's generally how it works all over the world, but um, in Australia, you can defer do for the, a year. Do the gap year or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So she deferred a year, and we both essentially went into it. What thinking, was she going to do? Um, she wanted to do uh, childhood, um, like teaching. You know, like oh uh, yeah, like kindergarten through you know first second grade, which is is what her mom does. So she loves you know from this the moment I met her, she's always been you know very motherly very and, motherly yeah. and 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 looking after children and you know her sister's 10 years younger than her and and so she you know pretty much babied her the her whole life so um yeah so here we are two 18 year old kids kind of just openly willingly embracing just winging w- it whatever's gonna come at us you know um my mom and dad were super against it um my decision was all about okay so i really thought about it like i think when i think now at 36 
my thought process, like it makes me proud because you're old enough to probably know, but like remember Johnny DeStefano? Mm. So, you know, Johnny was racing at the time and was kind of like... Yeah, Kembla Warrior. Yeah, so Johnny was, you know, kind of at that point where he was getting hurt a lot and, you know, he was a guy that like had a work ethic, you know, crazy, like loved working out, training, all those kinds of things. But unfortunately, it was... He was on the smaller side, so, you know, transitioning from 125 to 250 didn't necessarily go well. Um, Anyway, long story short, I was considering um, asking Johnny to go with me, um, and he would be able to help me training and, you know, Mm. basically do all the things that I couldn't do, or at least I didn't know all the things about. Um, I had a high school friend, high school dropout, you know, he was good at football, Um, one of my, still one of my closest friends. Um, I considered taking him and I was just like, dude, like here I am. I'm going to be on the other side of the world. I'm 18 years old. I'm going to be homesick as shit. Do I want to be hanging out with dudes, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, or, and, and I'm 18 with, years with old. That comes partying and the partying, which I never was into getting bitches, going and, and getting chicks, yeah. you know, all those things. And I, like when I think about it, like I made a very grown up advanced Mm -hmm. beyond my 18 years of on on life um and i just said i i really think that the big picture i want to take ellie you know like i you know at that point we we spent a lot of time together we didn't live together i lived at home she lived at home we obviously she'd be either spent you know staying over my place or i'd stay over there um and then i kind of was just like no i I, this is what i want to do i want to take ellie so yeah, I told mum and dad and, and that didn't go well. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.